I know you're tired of hearing about loot boxes. And I know that you wish we could stop talking about them, but we can't. If we allowed the discussion, if we allowed the dialogue to end, the companies that use them would win. They would go back to business as usual, and we would lose. We can't do that. We can't stop talking about them. We can't let the dialogue end. We have to keep going until, until we win. Until loot boxes, as they currently exist, no longer exist. Until they are extinct. Gone. We can't stop until that happens. So, I'm sorry, but you're going to hear about some loot boxes today. As you know, the Gambling Commission in the Netherlands declared that loot boxes are gambling, and they've given some game companies an ultimatum. Change your games to comply with the law or face fines and possible jail time. Well, one of the first companies to make a change to their games is Valve. And they're changing CSGO and Dota 2. Basically, they are ceasing trading of in-game items in order to comply with the law. And they've released a statement, which is extremely disappointing. Their statement makes it sound like they are the victim, that they are confused about the ruling that loot boxes are gambling. And that's extremely disappointing because that is not the valve I know. That is not the valve that I have grown to know and respect. They are a company that currently owns 75% of the PC gaming market. They are highly respected. Their president and co-founder is considered a messiah in the PC gaming community and really they are a company that should be well above this sort of thing. And the fact that they are acting like this or, or people in the company are releasing statements like this is disappointing. It, it sort of it takes off a couple of notches off my respect meter for them. Now, I know that Valve is not a perfect company and that they've had some issues in the past with uh, particularly with refunds and complying with laws concerning that. But really, the, the number of egregious things that Valve is supposedly done in the past is outweighed by the egregious things, the, the sheer douchebaggery things that EA and Activision have both done to consumers. The, the number of crimes that those two companies have committed just overshadows any of the things that Valve are accused of doing in the past. I mean, it, uh, they're so much worse. And Valve's better than this. They make a lot of money off Steam. They make billions off of Steam. They control the market on PC they don't need loot boxes and i know that their management structure is pretty innovative in their company so the statements being made by the people on the steam side may not entirely be agreed upon by people in elsewhere in the company that could be possible because of how their rather flat management structure works. How the internals of their company works. It's rather innovative for a, for a privately owned corporation. They're not publicly traded. They're still considered a private company. So it's, it's disappointed in hearing, disappointing in hearing it. Um, it may not necessarily be how Gabe Newell feels because he's made some statements where that suggest that he would not agree with um, the statement made. But until we hear anything from him, I 
kind of on the fence here. It's not like I'm going to stop using Steam overnight. They're going to have to really do something really awful for me to do that. Really awful. Now, I don't really use Origin because EA has done enough awful things in order to warrant me not to want to do business with them. Valve hasn't done anything like that to make me not want to do business with them. Now, they, they've made mistakes in the past. They've, they've, done, they've, they've made mistakes. They're not a perfect company, but they're above EA and Activision and others on this sort of thing and it kind of saddens me and I had to talk about it just recently heard about all this in the news and I just had to say something so someone else at Valve or Gabe Newell say something put out a statement you know do something to sort of earn back some of your cred. I've been Mike DeZorch. Thanks for watching.